Weather around East Tennessee, you might be thinking about planning your next camping trip. Our first alert meteorologist Jacob Durham shows us what you need to think about before you head outdoors. Well, are you looking to take the family out camping, especially with the spring like temperatures and the sunnier afternoons? I'm here with Michelle from Outdoor Gear Revival, who's here to help us and kind of plan out that trip for you. Now, Michelle, uh, talk a little bit about how people can go ahead and be prepared now before hitting the road to their destination. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. So when we talk about planning to get outdoors, we need to book a campsite. So we're going to go to recreation.gov and we're going to find a place to go. And ideally, we find a place that has all the things that your family might enjoy, like hiking, paddling, cycling, and uh, recreation.gov has the list of all the sites and as simple as clicking and booking. Perfect, and talk a little bit about the factors that you need to go ahead and take into account before going camping, like the weather and the destination of your choice with different elevations around East Tennessee. Yeah, absolutely. So checking the weather is super important. So we want to make sure that we have a waterproof tent if it's going to be raining and some sort of backup plan to still enjoy ourselves. Um, and where to go, there's so many places. Um, we have our state parks, which are, my husband and I love to go to. We have our national forest and our national parks. Um, we have, if you think about where Knoxville is, it's perfectly located. Uh, there's stuff in every direction there. To the west, we have the uh, Cumberland Plateau and to the east we have the Appalachian Mountain Range and both of those offer an incredible selection of public lands. Even north and south there's options. Perfect. And as you're going out camping, it's also important to have the safety kits and plenty of water. Can you talk a little bit about what you need to prepare in that safety kit before you head out? Absolutely. So we, like you said, we definitely want to have a first aid kit at camp with us. Uh, most campsites have potable water that you can fill up with. So having a container that you can do that with and maybe a little hand washing station to stay clean. Um, at night, this is often overlooked. We want to make sure we are packing our food up properly to keep it safe from critters. So most campsites here have a bear box that you'll be able to put your uh, food and anything that might have any smells, even toothpaste, away in to keep it from those raccoons and mice and bears and whatnot. And perfect. So as we're continuing to get ready for those spring like afternoons and those longer days, these are just some helpful tips to go ahead and prepare you as you're getting ready to head out camping.